Well, we continue to keep a good eye on Helene as it makes its way toward the area, and our weather is just going to continue to go downhill as we go through the rest of the night and into our Friday. Lots of clouds around for the rest of the day. Temperatures fairly stagnant in the lower 70s and upper 60s. Now, by this evening, we will watch some of the outer showers start to make their way into the area. That's really no big deal. The steadiest and the heaviest probably of the rain won't get in here till after sunset. You get into some of these outer bands, that's where you could see some of those higher winds gusting. And that will last throughout the day and the morning hours tomorrow. We're also concerned, as you see some very heavy rainfall here early in the afternoon on Friday, of some drier air trying to sneak in. If we get that dry air and that clearing, that could set the stage for some of the very strongest winds to make their way down to the surface and we could have winds gusting maybe 60 or 70 miles an hour. As you see here by four o'clock Friday afternoon, still very heavy rainfall across the Ohio Valley. Models are still a little bit up in the air on that exact track of the storm here. Uh, you can see still some outliers to the east and a lot of models here now further toward the west. We actually want the further eastern track because that'll push the strongest of the winds away from our area uh, because we'll be further away from that right quadrant of the storm where those strongest winds typically reside. But the latest model data still shows some of those 50 to potentially as high as 70 mile an hour gusts working its way into the Ohio Valley by tomorrow afternoon before they press off toward the east. And all of those strong winds with the heavy rain, the wet ground could lead to power outages. The trees still are full of leaves and they're going to act like a sail and catch those strong winds and it may just be too much for them. And you can see trees and power lines down uh, resulting in power loss for a good part of uh, the weekend potentially. When all is said and done, looking at easily an inch to three inches of rainfall across the entire Ohio Valley, that rain could be heavy enough to result in flash flooding which is why we were watching for excessive rainfall. Mid 70s today across the entire region with that stray sprinkle. Tonight the rain moves in, temperatures upper 60s. They go almost nowhere between this afternoon and tonight. And then we're looking at all that rainfall this weekend. Now the winds will subside by Saturday for the most part, but the rain threat will re remain. We may not see sun till the next week.